light yeah. and lively day. Today's Lucky. Wednesday. It is Wednesday. The 17th of February. And our top story today is we have the three best assets for an inflation hedge. To hedge against inflation, I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. And welcome. Yes. Once again, the three best assets for inflation for a hedge against inflation for a fledge against the nation. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes, it's somewhere in there. It's a word scramble this morning or this afternoon. Yes. Oh All my right. goodness. <laughs> so do you want to tell them what inflation is, Lisa? I will. So inflation um, is when the purchasing power of a currency goes down, um, usually because more currency is added to the money supply. So like we've had in, you know, during this pandemic and people, the government, in all their wisdom, has been printing money, which, what does that do? It makes the money that we have worth less because there's more of it in the marketplace. It does. Uh, let me give you just a really simplistic example. Let's say you had five houses for sale and the money supply was $10. So each house would be worth $2. Now, if you doubled the money supply and went from $10 to $20, each house would be worth $4. Now, that's a very simplistic example. I get that. I mean, there's a lot of other economic factors involved when you're talking about inflation. But if you look at it in simplistic terms like that, it starts to make sense. Once they start printing trillions of dollars, then inflation is going to be somewhere in the future. We don't know where and where, how. But the government builds in 2% inflation every year. That's what they would like. 2% inflation every year keeps the money supply going, keeps jobs growing, nothing becomes stagnant. It's just a way to, let's say, monitor the economy. Yeah, from all the articles, I went and read all the headlines um, of all the different things that the news is talking about inflation, and they don't want to have any monetary policy uh, till inflation gets over 2%. So everything that the officials and the government e uh, experts, they base all of their decisions on having the um, monetary policy be more than 2%. Which we've had less than that for a long time. I and mean, we've had the biggest boom in the history of the United States since 2009. So we're doing great. Things are going good. Hey, the reason we're talking about inflation is we've got too few products on the, for sale, on sale, housing, and too many buyers chasing it. So that pushes the price up. That's inflationary. Not a bad thing. We're not saying inflation is bad. We're just saying that, you know, you should look at the broad market anytime you're investing in anything. And we feel like we've got the best investment around. We've got real estate. Yeah, so I have a quote from one of the, art, the articles that I tried to make this as simple as I could, but it said, if you want your wealth to increase rather than decrease in value, you need to focus on assets that hold their purchasing power and consistently produce yields in excess of the inflation rate. So that's what you, you want to do to hedge uh, for inflation. Yep, that's the best bet. It's just to stay ahead of the game, right? Because your purchasing power of your dollars 10 years ago is not what the purchasing power of your dollars are today. Let's say your grandmother or grandfather was, are living in a rent house right now. The rent they're paying today is not the rent they would have paid when they were your age, right? That's inflation. Not a bad thing, but that's how, that, that is inflation, that the rents get inflated through the years. Not a problem at all, especially if you've got a hedge against inflation. And we've got the three best assets for an inflation hedge. Let me go to number one. Our favorite one <laughs> is real estate. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, they're not making that anymore as far as land. They are still building houses and apartments and condominiums. They're, they're building everything, but they're not making any more land. Unless you're in Hawaii on the big island with an active volcano. But that would be a very long-term hold to watch your real estate grow that way. I don't think you're going to build a house on the on, on the lo, on, on the lava flow, but but the Big Island is making more more land. They and are. the reason real estate's such a great hedge against inflation is because it has three prongs um, to that stool, and the three things it has uh, a store of value, it has appreciation potential, and also it has the added bonus of possibly bringing income too. 
It does. So if you live in a house, you buy another house, and you rent out your first house, there is your rent income coming in on rent, right? And rents okay. go up just as quickly as home prices do. So one begets the other one, that's for sure. That's right. Number two is U.S. equities. That's right. There has been a plethora of people going to the NASDAQ index, the S&P 500 index, low fees to get in, and they just track the market. I mean, that's basically what they're doing. They're tracking the S&P 500, they're tracking the uh, uh, NASDAQ index. So that's where a lot of people have gone just for safety. Years ago, and I'm talking, you know, 30, 40 years ago, people would go and put their money in the bank for CDs, a certificates of deposit. You really don't hear much about those anymore because of the small amount of interest that they are paying. That's right. So what is it, the rule of seven at seven percent that your money doubles every year? I think at the rule of one percent it doubles every 25 years. So, yeah, you don't have time to wait around on that one. Mm -hmm. And number three is called TIPS. It's the Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. Wow, there's a tongue twister. But the short term for that is TIPS. Yes, TIPS are probably the only bond that is protective against inflation. Now, are they high yield bonds? They are not. High yield bonds are associated with risk, and TIPS are not risky, but they are inflation protected. So those are our three best assets for a hedge against inflation. Now there are, oh, of course, more than three, like Bitcoin and gold and some other, uh, other things we're not gonna um, go into, but of course our number one favorite hedge against inflation is real estate. That's right, as the markets go up, the prices go up, that's what we're experiencing right now. We think we're definitely gonna be experiencing that uh, for the rest of 2021 probably the rest of 2022. Uh, the only thing that I think that can slow it down would really be a rise in interest rates. If we raise the interest rates up, then we're gonna be looking at uh, definitely a pressure on the upper end top price of real estate. Right, and they're not projecting that. And the headlines on inflation go from black to white, soup to nuts. Some say the sky is falling, we're absolutely gonna have you know, higher inflation this year, and the other side, oh, absolutely not, it's a mirage, that's a quote, uh, that it's a mirage about the inflation. So, um, we don't have a crystal ball, but we always like to keep you guys top of the market and top of mind uh, with what's going on in the market for all the hours that we spend um, keeping up to date. We like to share all that information with you. We do. Given the ongoing economic situation, the return of inflation to us seems inevitable. So that's why we're throwing it out there. We just want to keep you informed. We look at the homes and markets and prices every single day. We look at all the markets across the board. The lenders are looking at the stock markets and the bond markets, and we're in close contact with them. We're in close contact with anybody and everybody that is associated with our business. That's what we do. Right. We uh, have been, had some crazy real estate stories this week. Uh, with uh, several of our transactions we have in escrow, things that we've just never seen before. So the market is constantly changing and we are in it, uh, boots on the ground every day. So if you are thinking about real estate, we love to talk about it. Uh, give us a call. We can answer your questions. If you have questions about buying or selling, um, any questions about forbearance or anything that uh, has to do with real estate, we would love to talk to you about it. That's us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.